Hey folks and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. This is going to be the uh, final video in the construction series uh, for my camping wagon or what uh, is commonly called a sheep herder wagon Vardo. And uh, I've got a lot done since uh, the last video. So I'm going to show you what I've got done and what I'm going to show you in this video and kind of explain the process so that you can understand how the structural members all go together. So as you can see I've got the uh, camping wagon into this uh, trailer and this trailer is just a little bit uh, uh, odd sized. It's not actually a 5 by 8 It's a little bit shorter and a little bit narrower so I had to adjust my own plans uh, but it still worked and I built this uh, completely on the ground and then slid it in and surprisingly it fits perfectly and I slid it in all by myself which I'm pretty proud of because uh, the way I designed it it's, it's extremely strong but also lightweight and I took it for a little road trip uh, just to test it out with my small pickup truck and it towed just perfectly uh, tracked really well and was lightweight hardly even knew it was behind the truck so that's exactly what I wanted was a nice design so you can see what I've done here I've got that door installed that door was salvaged that I pulled out of a dumpster it's a solid wood door with a nice window in it and uh, I had to cut it down trim it to size and then I took the bottom piece that I cut off down there at the bottom and I put it up there and made a nice arch uh, so it kind of adds that Vardo effect to it. That's what I was after. And uh, I've added some uh, black handle hardware to it and a few things. Uh, I've got it all painted now, as you can see. Came up with some uh, really great paint idea from uh, the Ace Hardware guy. Shout out to the Ace Hardware old paint guy who uh, turned me on to this uh, paint that is used by contractors. Not the, the fancy brand name stuff that they get off the shelf. He got this stuff that's uh, basically a generic paint that they sell to contractors uh, that holds up much, much better uh, under uh, tough conditions, weather, and uh, will resist fading and scratching and stuff like that. So very happy with the paint job. Got that all done. All the sides are on. And I've got uh, two of my uh, roof rafters on, or box roof rafters on, as you can see there. And these are... Uh, uh, designed so that it holds the weight and is also they are glued and screwed on all ends and uh, today in this video I'm going to be uh, putting on my roof panels and I'm also going to be installing the windows because so I need to seal this up before we have a rainstorm here and uh, the other thing I did is I did get my and I had to wait for this I got my uh, jack with the wheel on it for the front tongue and I needed that so that I could move the trailer around to position it. You can see this thing fits in perfectly. And uh, I needed that jack before I could uh, put it on the trailer because I needed to support it but also to, to move the uh, trailer around so that I could position it perfectly. And uh, everything looks real good. So I'm going to be putting in that window. I've got a really nice window which I'll show you uh, that matches that front door. And it's got uh, real cross piece muttons on. It's a really nice window. So I'm going to put a window in there. And then if I like it a lot, which I really think I will, I'm going to put two more sideways over on the sides here. And I'm going to put shutters on all sides of them. So I'll have a window on all four sides eventually. But for now, I've just got the one window I'm going to put in there. And I'm going to put my roof sheathing on. And then I'll be able to work on the interior and put my dry kitchen and stuff like that in later. I don't, I'm not going to do that in this video probably. But I will uh, at least get the window in and the roof all sheathed and everything like that so you can see the construction process. Then how you do your interiors may be completely different. So I'll show you the interior just really quick here. So I've got uh, the interior all done. As you can see, the, the framing structure members on this are all glued and screwed. Everything is, is uh, construction adhesive and screws. The same way that they build airplanes and boats. Okay, extremely strong and tight structure. And there's the window. I'll get up in here to show you. I found this light, nice little shed window uh, on uh, Amazon for uh, uh, it was about forty-seven dollars with free shipping, and it comes with the sliding glass, and so that'll look really nice up here in this opening. So I've got to cut an opening up there, and I've got to get you in here. You can see my box roof rafters. I've got one on one side and one on the other side. I need to put uh, another one there and another one there, and then I can sheave my roof. And uh, then I'm going to probably use shingles, uh, tar paper and shingles, because I already have those uh, from another project left over, and i got enough to do this. So that will save me some money there. Altogether, material costs on this so far, I've kept a running total, has been right about $300. Okay, half-inch plywood, 2x3 structural framing, 2x4 floor framing, 
and uh, I used OSB. You can use plywood. I used OSB uh, for the floor because it was about half the price of plywood, but I used plywood on everything else because it lasts uh, longer, handles the weather better. And for my roof sheathing, I'm going to be using OSB because it will be covered with tar paper, edges all painted and uh, sheathed in so that I don't have to worry about it. And it's the same material they use on house roofs, so it should hold up for this, right? And uh, I also made my bed out of uh, OSB sheathing. And my bed, you can put your bed up higher. A lot of people like a platform bed, and it gives them lots of storage underneath. I'm an old guy, and I like to sit on the edge of my bed. So I put my bed right down on the uh, side uh, supports. And uh, my bed is only 32 inches wide because I have a cot mattress that size already. But you could do a uh, so you could do a, a a twin mattress that would come out to about right here, or you could even do a full size mattress. Okay, and you'd still have all this room over here on both sides for a small wood stove or a dry kitchen or whatever else you're going to do. I'm going to be putting in a dry kitchen. And uh, my small wood stove is going to go right here, which I'll show you eventually. But uh, that's the plans for now. So what I'm going to be doing in this video, I'm going to sheathe the roof. Uh, and I'm going to put in that window. That's pretty much all of the uh, construction that you need to know in order to finish this project. And then you'll be able to go ahead and get the free plans on my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. Get a copy of the free plans, click on the uh, micro cabin plans, get you a copy of that. And then if you want to build one of these, you can build it using the same structure uh, process that I use in the plans. And you can adjust it if you need to for your own trailer. It's designed for a 5x8 uh, trailer like you can find on Lowe's or Home Depot. And then you can decide however the heck you want to do your interior. Now I'm going to be leaving this uninsulated for a while, but I designed this so that it can be insulated. You can put R8 foam board insulation. You can put that, glue it right up against the, uh, in between the pockets. And you can put R11 or R13 insulation into the roof panels. So you can fully insulate this. Now I'm going to do that eventually. I'm going to insulate it, but for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And I might insulate it maybe next year uh, for camping season. But for this year, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But it is designed to be insulated. And then you can put up some nice uh, tongue and groove pine paneling over it or something like that to really finish up the interior any way you want. Uh, but for seasonal camping, you don't really need it insulated. Uh, it does add a little bit to the weight and the expense of the, the project. But it's nice to know that you can do it if you want to do that. All right. Okay, now it's time to get busy and work on this project. I'm going to go ahead and put that window in and put these roof uh, sheathing up. I'll show you that. And then uh, that will be the end of, that, of this video for the construction process. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to take a camp and show you how it works. Okay, folks, so here you can see I've got that uh, nice little window in. Uh, really adds to the, the look and shape of the, the, the Bardo, I think. And uh, I got that on Amazon. And it is an 18 by 27 inch window. And uh, it, comes, it has the muttons, it has a screen, it slides up. Uh, it's uh, made for sheds. Uh, I, they, the vinyl windows, I could find them locally here, were more expensive, didn't look as nice, and wouldn't look well with a Vardo. So I went with this uh, shed window with metal framing. And then I'm going to put uh, shutters on both sides of it. I'm going to make shutters to go on both sides of it, which will look real nice. And then I think I'm going to buy two more of these windows eventually. And I'm going to put them in the sides, lengthwise, uh, in the sides, with small shutters on them. I think that will really look not really look nice, but that's the window that I, I have for this uh, project, and it looks really nice. And then you can see I've also got the uh, roof sheathed. Uh, I'm still doing some work on the roof sheathing, but I've got the roof sheathed up. It's got about a one inch overhang, so the water will run off the sides, won't run straight down the sides. And uh, that's I used OSB for my sheathing. It'll be covered with tar paper. Then I haven't decided if I'm going to go with shingles or metal roofing. I got to see. I've got some shingles, but I may decide I want to go with metal roofing. So I'm going to wait and do that uh, a little bit later. See if I can find a good price on uh, some materials for my roofing. Now I've also done some detail work. I put on uh, some of the molding, as you can see here. I'll show this window up closer. Uh, I started putting on some of this. This is a oh, it's a fake oak molding, but it's like an oak molding, uh, PVC, so it'll handle the weather outside and doesn't have to be painted. And so I've got that on here. You can see the overhang of the the roof, so it's got a, a little bit of an overhang, not much. And then I left on this front end here. I didn't put a large overhang, and the reason is because uh, 
at this end is going to get wind pressure against it. I don't want the wind to catch underneath that edge and there will be a molding trim that goes, a three inch molding trim that goes all the way around this here. And I don't want the wind to catch underneath this edge because that's going to put pressure on the, the roof and pressure on the trailer to, to lift up and could even actually rip, uh, rip your roof off if you're going fast enough. So just a small one inch overhang on the front and about a three inch overhang on the back. Okay, and that used an eight foot sheet of OSB, so I was able to say something like about a three inch overhang on the uh, back side here. And then this, uh, m this nice oak trim molding all the way along. And like I said, I'm going to probably put in a window right in here. It goes sideways with uh, shutters on both sides. And uh, right now, what I've got left to do is uh, trim out the, the finish for the door. And uh, that's what this molding is that I'm working on over there. I'm actually trying to warp a piece of this PVC molding because I've got to do an arch up there so I'm using the sunshine because this will kind of warp naturally I'm going to put some weight and some ropes on it and kind of pull an arch down in it uh, and in the hot sunshine it should melt down or uh, warm up enough that it'll it'll uh, warp enough that I can get a, an arch out of it and then I've got the rest of it there and I'm, I'm going to do a uh, molding trim that goes up and around on all all sides all the way around the top and on both sides all sides of the door and then an arch, nice arch over the top here. So that's what I've got left to do on this project. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, this works really well for what I plan on doing, which is my adventure videos when I get out uh, where I want to go someplace and show you uh, uh, some new scenery, uh, where I'm camping and fishing and taking my mini bike and going out on adventures. So that's, that's the plan for the use for this. I'll uh, show you the wood stove that I'm going to be using in it here. And uh, then we'll call it good for this video. This, this gives you enough construction uh, information in this series of videos that if you want to build one of these, you can certainly do that. And uh, I think it's a really nice project. Altogether estimate, I already had the trailer. You can get the 5x8 trailers at Lowe's or uh, Home Depot. They're running around uh, $750 right now for a 5x8 trailer. Uh, or if you can find one used on Craigslist or something like that. I got this old trailer for like $400 from a guy that was uh, moving and was using it for uh, hauling his snowmobiles. So it's a heavy duty trailer. Uh, but it works really well for this project. And uh, material cost for the, all the lumber and wood I kept a running total was right around $300. Probably about $350 with the tax uh, and everything on it and uh, some of the trim work and stuff that I didn't include in it. Uh, and so, you know, you can do these any way you want. I designed the plan so that they're modifiable and uh, you can design and put it together any, any way you want. So, uh, go to my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. Get you a set of the free plans. Just click on the micro cabins, download. It's actually two plans in one. There's a, a shed version to be built on the ground or a Vardo version. So you get both in one set of plans. Go get you a free set of plans. While you're there, look at the other cabins that have been built uh, from my plans and designs and the client cabins. Lots of new designs on there. Walden cabin is very popular. The A-frame cabin is very popular. Lots of people have built those. Uh, the Wombat um, uh, teardrop camper, very popular designs. Lots of people are building those. And also, if you want, get involved in the contest. Uh, I've got a free, free to enter contest for anybody that wants to uh, build or design their own uh, off-grid house on wheels or off-grid house on the move. It doesn't have to be on wheels. It just it could be a uh, uh, a house like this or it can be a on a larger trailer under 200 square feet with off-grid systems. It could even be a uh, stealth camper uh, in a cargo trailer. It could be a houseboat. Uh, whatever you can come up with with your designs and it's free to enter and uh, you can win a uh, 100 watt solar panel with a controller and some good books from uh, Lloyd Kahn and ebooks from me and uh, some other prizes. So go enter that. All right, folks, I hope you've enjoyed following this project. And, uh, you know, watch, uh, subscribe to my channel, like my uh, videos, and uh, we'll be doing updates. I'm going to be finishing this up uh, with all the trimmings and everything to make it look real nice. And then in a future video, I'll take it camping and I'll show you off all of the, uh, the finish work as it goes along. But I think I've given you enough in these videos that if you want to construct this project, you, can know, you now know enough about it that you can go ahead and do that. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.